In the Paranormal State episode, Darkness Falls, the Paranormal Research Society visited the former West Virginia State Penitentiary, purportedly one of the most haunted prisons in the United States. They appeared to face their fears and supposed spirits of dead prisoners. We are shown an architectural element, most likely a window played up as an inverted pentagram, a symbol of devil worship. Perhaps not clear is that the original architectural drawings for the prison don't seem to exist. Therefore, it's apparently not known who designed or installed the architectural element or its true purpose. This left leeway to present the architectural element with an unfounded paranormal bias, since Paranormal State episodes often contain material not accurately or honestly portrayed, I traveled to the former penitentiary to talk with Paul Kirby to check the accuracy and integrity regarding some of Ryan's statements and to look at the architectural element. Paul worked in the former penitentiary for 18 years to his deputy warden. He appeared in the Darkness Falls episode. When Darkness Falls was shot, Paul was manager of the Moundsville Economic Development Council, which runs the former West Virginia State Penitentiary as a tourist attraction and training facility. To begin, Paul Kirby makes a general statement. What they say, uh, as far as me being in the institution and being involved in the paranormal situations, I have not experienced anything in that institution. It was probably scarier when it was in full operation. Now let's look at the biasing of an architectural element. Do you know how long this was boarded up? Well, I was here in 75 and I never saw it. I was with him at the interview when we did that. Uh, he had certainly been up there to see it prior to me going up for the interview. Um, that was done, I think Ryan was here for probably two days or three days or something when they were doing their filming. And that's how he got upstairs to be able to see that. The history of it, it's very vague. Right now we don't know of anybody that can give us the history on that. Obviously there's some new age beliefs that use the pentagram, but most practices that use the inverted pentagram are known as Satanists or devil worshipers. Certainly he had a different viewpoint of what it was. Um, I was asked to come up for the interview to acknowledge or to uh, explain what I knew about it, uh, which was simply, I didn't know anything about it. The history of it, trying to trace it, was something that was very difficult because uh, a lot of the old history at the prison is not here. Uh, it's not even archived. Uh, it's probably one of the poorest jobs that we have done, um, maybe in West Virginia history, as far as I'm concerned. In the episode, Josh briefly mentions there's no record of the architectural element. There's no reference to that inverted uh, pentagram, pentacle, whatever you want to call it, yeah. at all. No reference? No problem. Listen to Michelle Belanger make a biased statement. Generally, if somebody is using that as a satanic symbol, they're doing it in a subversive way. And here's more in a bias by Buell statement. Now, I only know of a few cultures and religious belief systems that use the inverted pentagram. The most prominent is devil worship. Moving on to some other issues. The warden's tower is actually up here. I was invited here with Chad about six months ago, and they do not allow people up here, but for whatever reason, they allowed for myself to come up here and do a private investigation. I was here alone. I haven't invited anybody from the paranormal organizations to this institution. They come, uh, they look me up uh, from California to Canada to uh, Europe. Uh, it's not unusual for those people to look us up. Uh, we have a tremendous website and I think that's probably what promotes it more than anything. I don't have to do anything other than organize it and calendar it and see that I get paid to keep a roof on the place. We began to look at that portion of the facility and decided to close it off because of it being a fire hazard. It's all wood structure. Didn't want the activity in there. Didn't want my maintenance people in there. Um, so we closed down that portion of the facility totally. 
Was Ryan alone, or due to insurance purposes, would Moundsville staff like Tom Stiles have to be with him? They've been in the air. They would have been in the area, yes. Uh, you know, you just don't hand you the key and you go upstairs. That, that wasn't it. What I'm about to show you is not actually public knowledge. What you're looking at is an inverted pentagram. Here's, I think, I think the way that you would state that, or he should have stated that, as far as public knowledge, it's making out like Ryan was the only one that has ever seen it or ever been exposed to it or what have you, and that's not true. Um, I've had staff members that have been up there that, you know, that have, uh, we've had roofers up there that have to go through that portion of the building to get to the main roof. To, uh, we put new roofs on, so I, there is probably numerous people that have seen that portion that's been exposed. So he, it wasn't unique to him. Uh, it was unique to him in that he was putting a statement to it in that it was an inverted per pentagram. Is it an inverted pentagram? Ryan, I don't know that for a fact. And I don't think you do either. That's something that you interpreted. Uh, I could call it a window decoration. Uh, uh, I'm sure that it has different meanings for different people. And to make that kind of a statement that, you know, this is what I have and, and I'm the only one that's ever been exposed to it is, uh, I can't allow that statement to hold any water. If part of this prison was constructed by devil worshipers, then that could be what's keeping the dark spirits locked inside. Or the pentagram could simply be a symbol of true evil that took place in the Warren's Tower. No. Ryan, you're clear off base. And when I say that, this, this prison was constructed by um, <laughs> it was constructed by natural born human beings that just fell awry, uh, whether through the drink of whiskey or um, or being broke and trying to supply for their families and so forth and lust, you know, all those things fall into it. There are people just like you and I that made a horrible mistake in their life and a lot of them learned from it and a lot of them didn't. Um, it had nothing to do with that whatsoever as far as the construction of this prison. Brian says, or the pentagram could simply be a symbol of true evil that took place in the warden's tower. Is there something wow. very, very bad that's true evil? I think that for anybody to make that statement uh, without any knowledge of this community whatsoever is totally out of proportion. And when I say that is, is that um, I'm 65 years old, and I've been in, that, been in this community that long. And from my father to my grandfather, um, I have known of nobody ever, ever speaking of that that way as far as the prison is concerned. When you listen to those stories and you listen to the community talk about the prison because it was a subject, it was one of the leading employers in the area. Um, you know, a lot of the people that are in this town today, their fathers and grandfathers worked in this prison. And that's, those stories don't carry anywhere. Devil worshipers or all this kind of stuff and how the prison was built. It's a prison. To sum up the statement Ryan made about the prison being constructed by devil worshipers, Paul Kirby expressed, I, I would never, ever construe that to be a statement of fact. I think that that is a statement of somebody's dream world. I mean, you can print that. I wish Paul could have seen that I printed that, but sadly, two days after the interview, he passed away. So I dedicate this video to Paul Kirby as a tribute to help document facts so followers of Paranormal State aren't misled by made-up stories of paranormal crap.